story at six. Wisconsin is facing huge federal funding cuts if Congress can't reach a deal on the so-called sequester by this Friday. Our state could lose $27.5 million, mostly in education funding. NBC 26's Jonathan Gregg is live in Ashwaubenon with more. Stacy, the White House has released a state by state layout of how the cuts would affect budgets. For schools like in Ashwabanon District, there could be cuts to education in more ways than one. Let's begin. Because I don't just like to play alone. With the state's youngest students. Next, we play hide and seek. The White House projects cuts to child care assistance for low income families, as well as scaling back on Head Start. Which I would hate to see. Helping families afford daycare and preschool. These are our future leaders of America right now, and we really need to strive to better them as children, and it's hard to do. Special education will take a hit, too, according to the Obama administration. Another $10 million worth of teachers, aid, and staff who help students with disabilities. Governor Scott Walker today choices. at the White House. Uh, my hope, though, is what we see is something that's better than the arbitrary cuts that are being proposed. I hope that they would have figured something out. Lori Cathy, president of the Green Bay Education Association, says teachers at schools in Wisconsin continue to handle education cuts as best they can. I don't know how much longer we can do that um, before class sizes get to be extremely large. The White House also suggesting that fewer low-income students will be able to receive grant money to help them afford college. Also, some Republicans are speaking out, saying that the president's team is exaggerating the immediate impacts of the sequester. Reporting live in Ashwaubenon, Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26.